The Pentagon has revealed that the U.S. Air Force's chosen Rolls-Royce's North American division to supply F-130 turbofans to its fleet of B-52H bombers. This upgrade program, which has been years, if not decades, in the making, is a major milestone for the service's B-52H fleet and will help ensure those bombers keeping flying through 2050. Details about the deal were included in today's edition of the Pentagon's Daily Contracting Notice, which includes information about all awards valued over $7.5 million. Rolls-Royce's new contract from the Air Force is valued at $500,870,458 over the next six years but could grow to over $2.6 billion if all of its options are exercised. We've selected Indianapolis to build a proposed engine for the USAF B-52 recompetition, the F-130. Our new, modern, advanced manufacturing facilities are the perfect location to produce, assemble, and test the F-130 for the B-52 program. This contract provides for 608 commercial engines plus spare engines, associated support equipment and commercial engineering data, to include sustainment activities, to be used on the B-52H bomber fleet, according to the Pentagon's announcement. The location of performance is Indianapolis, Indiana, and at work is expected to be completed by September 23, 2038. The total number of engines cited here, 608, is exactly enough for one-for-one -for -one replacements of the eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines found on each of the Air Force's 76 B-52H bombers. To help keep costs low, the Air Force had required the companies competing for the redeal to submit proposals that would be able to leverage the aircraft's four existing underwing engine pods, each of which holds two TF-33s. Other modifications to the bombers are planned as part of the upgrade process. Rolls-Royce is confident that the F-130S will not need to be completely replaced throughout the rest of the expected service life of the Air Force's B-52Hs, but it still seems likely the Air Force will want to buy spares as time goes on to ensure it has extra engines should it need them. The F-130 beat out General Electric CF-34-10 and Pratt and & Whitney's PW-800 to secure this deal. Pratt & Whitney was effectively the incumbent in this competition, though the TF-33 engine that powers the B-52H now has been out of production since 1985. The company has continued to provide support for TF-33s found on B-52Hs and other Air Force aircraft since then, but at an ever-growing cost. As of 2016, the Air Force was spending approximately $2 million per engine to overhaul TF-33s every 6,000 flight hours.